If you've never been to Alaska, it is an absolute must-see. There's nowhere in the world that looks and feels like Alaska. And if you've been there before, you know what I'm talking about. Last week, we had just showed up to Alaskan Anglers Inn, got settled in, and the next thing you know, we're out on the water fishing for our personal best halibut. This week on Stoked on Fishing, the fishing heats up as we round out our first day of fishing with some solid halibut and black bass. Then we wind down with jacuzzi time and some great dinner at the lodge. What's so awesome about this is we get to do this same routine for four more days. Stoked on Alaska, here we go. Oh! Woo! Woo! Ah! It's a monster! <laughs> Woo! So you got a big fish, look at him. <laughs> About this, don't you? Love this. <laughs> All right. Yeah, stoked, oh baby. Stoked on fishing. <laughs> Good times, my friend. Stoked on fishing is brought to you by Integrative Marine Systems, Southern California's premier boat and yacht upgrade provider, and by Akuma Fishing Tackle, a global leader in the design and manufacturing of high-quality fishing tackle, and by El Dorado Sport Fishing, 85 feet of deck space for fishermen who want to have some fun in the sun, and by Fishing Osara, Costa Rica's best-kept fishing secret, and by Fish Lab Lures, meticulously crafted and designed for one purpose, to catch fish, and by Ricante Hot Sauce, radical blends of fruits and vegetables from the lands of Costa Rica since 2011. What's your Pura Vida? Okay, how far is the run, would you say? The run's going to be about 45 minutes or so, so it's going to be right around about 25 to 30 mile run. Okay, uh, most okay. of it's going to be flat calm, and then once we get out and cross sound by Elf and Cove, it's going to get a little bumpy, um, probably more of a swell than chop. Okay. But yeah, we're going to yeah, go awesome. after some black bass and, and see what we can do. Yeah, we caught those last year. Those are fun. So just beyond us here, you can see right here in the map is 1,038 feet, and it comes up to about 40 foot in less than a quarter mile. So it creates big upwellings here, and uh, we're going to try to get these rockfish hopefully pushed up on the tide. Okay, now this is a rockfish we are allowed to catch. Correct. I um, mean, we're just starting to come into them now, so we're not going to try to go to the bottom. We're going to no. try to stay away from the ones that we're not allowed to. Yep. So we're looking right here between about 50 to 60 foot should be the right ones. Uh, down on the bottom, these are going to be yellow eye, wing cod, stuff like that, which we're not allowed to keep this year. Okay. So we're trying not to have any of that bycatch. But you guys are good to go. There are tons of fish down there. Don't want to hit bottom. Oh, there's a bite right there. <laughs> there he is. And that's about how long it takes. <laughs> Dude, that's just like big calicos, man. And then on calico basket, that's fun. Yeah, look at this. Thing. Oh my god. Dude, monster <laughs> black bass. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, it's five a person, so. Five a person, okay. Yep. Fish. Got it? Oh, that was a big one right there. Yeah, what I'll try to do is I'll try to gaff them and bring them in because okay. they'll uh, they'll rip off. <laughs> Down and get them. Whoa, really? snake. Dude, sea snake or some type of eel. What is that? It's some type of eel. I, I've never seen a sea snake up here, so that, that was some type of eel on the surface. I've never seen that before either. Jesus. Like I said, everything's getting clipped. <laughs> it jumped out of the water. We pulled the jig out and the black bass jumped out after it in midair. That was rare. Oh, it's it's to the top right now. You could drop straight down and get them. Oh. Nope. Missed them. Okay, here we go. And away we go. Oh, Ryan's bit. On, oh. Right oh. Ooh, Ryan. There you go. Oh, there we go. Everything out here, you just never know. <sighs> Oh yeah. yeah, look at that one. Good night. Look at this one. Nice. Yeah, he's bad boy's feet out here. Thank you, Justin. Yep, yep. Being a wuss there and not wanting to deal with it. Thank you. Yep. Here. Oh, come here. Oh, it's coming on. 
Yeah. Woo, it's hot and heavy with black bass. So this black bass is actually really, really cool. It's not really sought after here, but it is a fun fish on lighter tackle. And there's just a ton of them and they're pelagics. So that is allowing us to catch them. Um, and we get five each? Correct. Five we got five each first. and uh, they're darn good eating. They're basically like a calico bass. We rolling? Are we rolling? We rolling on stoked on fish. Roll it. Komodo. Yeah, getting it done. And the mad eel. The mad eel. All right, guys, go ahead and start. In just about 30 seconds, we're going to get right over the spot. There you go. One. Last note, right? Oh. Tons of fish. They're being 40 foot down. Oof. <laughs> it's fun. All right, thanks, sir. All right, well, that's like at least five, six. That's five, at least five fish on that thing already, and it's still super tough. That's ten. We need ten more. Mad eel. Okay, ten more, gents. Go to work. I got a little bit heavier. There you go. Oh, swinging a fish. <laughs> oh, you getting the hang of it, Craig? Yeah, yeah. It's a little, there you go. Oh, got one. Well, they're only about 10 feet deep. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. oh, right there, yeah. He's got it. There he oh. is. You go back. <laughs> oh! He ate it. Oh, you missed it. He ate it. He missed it. <laughs> I've had them jumping out of the water, hitting the water, the uh, motor peeing, hitting the water peeing out of the motors before. There you go. Yeah, it's about uh, foot, tons of fish. Radical. <laughs> it's fun. Down. Cut. We're 95 feet. Might have got him. Oh, I'm going neutral. You are? Okay. Yeah, I can neutral. No, he just got killed. Here it is, right here. Oh, he's oh a big god. giant grouper! What is that lingcod? Look at him, let him eat it. Oh, I told you a lingcod had him. Oh my gosh. That was a big old lingcod. Did you see that? That was a 50 inch lingcod. Oh you my gosh, you guys. You know, right? Oh my god, you guys. I told you I was a big boy. Dude. Mm -hmm. Shay. Dude, that was, was crazy. I thought I had kelp. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what did it. That's bigger than what I had caught last year. No kidding. Oh, it was huge. Big. Usually when they break surface, they let go. All right, time to fish straight down. Yeah, he would have been a let go, but yeah, that was a wow, big old that thing, was dude. freaking crazy, man. Two lings. The first one was it was enormous. That was bigger it than snagged the one last my. Year, huh? my black bass that was coming up. I thought I had a giant piece of kelp, and it was not, and it was a giant. We only saw half of them. I think Ryan got a little bit of them on camera, but it was a huge head. Huge. Oh, big. Massive, definitely bigger than the one I got last year. That was cool to see. Mad eel just getting beat down, but holding it, its ground, holding its ground. Tough, tough plastic. All right. Wait, what do we need? One now or two? Two, still two. Oh. All right. Nice. nice. All right, guys. Just gonna need one more. Lots one. of fish. Oh, Ryan, come on, be that one. The wind's starting to come up now too. You can feel it. Oh, yeah, he's pulling back. This might be. This might be the one. Oh, he's a good one. That's two. Yep, that's it. I'll work awesome. around you guys. That's it, right? We're good. Yeah, we're good. 
All right, well, that's a wrap on the fishing for our first day, and that was epic. Thanks to Captain Justin over there. Yeah, guys. That guys was awesome, blast. dude. That was awesome. Thank you very much. Yep. Yeah, we'll just stick that up there. What a good way to start yeah. out. Greg, good times, bro. Oh, awesome. Right? Yeah. Come up there and I'll get awesome. my stuff down. We're right ahead. I'm going to wrap it up right here. Now, are you guys going to haul your stuff off good the time. boat at the end of the day, or do you want to put it inside the cabin? Got a basket of It's just, it's butter. This new drag from the Kavala. Tiny, powerful, and it is very smooth and quiet. Another big fish. Stoked on fishing. <laughs> Stoked on Alaska. Stoked on hot tubs. Only in Alaskan anglers in. There it is. There it is. Most of it at night. Go play blackjack. But you know my friends are all off or so. Then drive to the lake. So I will be on this car. Well, as far as you I was very close to the I was in the room. So her seven pages were in. Good morning. Good morning, guys. Good to see, bro. For sure, guys. Have a great day. Catch yeah. some rough out there. You ready, Greg? Oh, yeah. So ready. Let's go. Let's go. Go get him, Bettina. Go get him, Bettina. What up, bud? How you guys doing? Good morning, morning. Good morning, morning. You ready? I'm ready. Let me pull that up to him. Yeah, yeah I'm ready. We're going to go get him this morning. I'll tell you. Here we go. Round two. Day one was incredible. Holy cow, it was incredible. I don't know what we're doing yet. We'll talk to Captain Justin. It's either going to be halibut or salmon. So here we go. I don't know what the weather is going to do either. It looks like it's raining right now, but we're prepared and ready for it. <laughs> he didn't want to do it. Game plan, buddy. All right, so it didn't sound like the kings were a little hot yesterday, so what we're gonna do is uh, try to get our halibut out of the way first and let the tide kick in, and we're gonna go out and see if we can't get some silvers today. So that's a game plan at least. We'll just see how it plays out. You guys ready to get on plane? Yes, sir. All right, here we go. I'm gonna go inside. some jigging and we might have to use the bigger jigs just due to the tide and uh, but as this tide slows down over the next hour and a half the bite should just get phenomenal I was gonna say it uh, sounds real similar to yesterday huh yes yeah, yep. sir yep we were a bit within 15 minutes though yeah. right usually it's an hour or so yeah, at least but yeah within 15 20 minutes we were getting bit okay. and it, they never stopped biting well a guy in the corner over there was hot stick wasn't yeah he, he? was uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh hot stick <laughs> biggest one that I hated. Okay, we'll do herring on one, salmon on the other. We'll figure out what they're biting on. Ooh, the wraparound. 
Yeah, this way it flows in the current nice and doesn't spin too much. Sitting in 70 foot of water, so not too bad. Pretty impressive if you're able to do that with some big old gloves on. Uh, this one's giving me some issues. <laughs> Normally it's on the second clip, but yeah. <laughs> All right. And away she goes. That one's good. Put the clicker on just so I can hear it real fast. Clicker's kind of cheating for dropping, and I don't have to really pay attention to it. I can just hear the sound, and there it is. So I'd have the uh, casting reels like you guys had yesterday ready for the salmon that are coming on the surface on the back end of the tide. We saw a lot yesterday, and it's probably going to happen again today. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's good. spot on, though. Yeah, it looks like spot on. Game time. Day two. Let's do this. Greg, so I'm gonna, either one of you guys, I'm gonna hook this crocodile up on this too. I mean, you're gonna wait. Oh, there you go. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep. This one. Yeah, Greg, get it. All right, we got Sir Gregory on the first fish of the day. Here we go. Yep. Hold it, hold it hold it. Is salmon showing up right now? Oh, no, there's a couple of oils. With the current, there's almost nothing here. It's oh, not okay. bad. Oh, it's not a good one. Tiny little guy, he's just hanging in the current. Yeah, was, well, we got to somewhere. Just have some extra tension. Yeah. He's got some extra weight on yeah, there. Yeah, he's That's got right. an extra six pounds on him. Yeah. Cute little guy. Just a warm up of the morning. There we go. All right. Cool. Good start. Good start. We're warming up. We make the automatic work, right? Yeah. So I'm standing there like this. Yeah, I'm trying to insult the people as well. Hit him, hit him. Yep, there you go. He's on. That's a good fish. Oh. Alright. That's a really yeah, good fish good. there. Finally got uh, fast enough to get over here. Uh, oh, there <laughs> you go. There you go. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> Easy. Whoa. Easy. He wants, he wants to go. Yep. We'll go over this way. Yeah. If he's out running the tide, that's a good fish. Let's, uh, let's pull up this one and just get it out of the way, just in case. Well, we just started fishing here. It's going to probably about 45 minutes. Got a couple small ones, and then uh, Justin's been saying it's going to show up here real soon, and sure enough, he called it. Looks like a darn good halibut, that's for sure. I'm going to give you one heck of a run here in a moment. Line on you? Oh, yeah, just slowly. a little. Yeah, yeah, that's a good fish. Yeah. The breeze aren't walking back as hard. We bit once already, and we lost him, and he came back. So, oh, 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 oh. yeah, let him run if he wants to run. There you go. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna give you some room up here. My front one for you. Should open up the gate. Okay. Yeah. We got a leader. No, it's just PC. Oh, oh, oh that yeah. there he is. Oh, it might be a good, good keeper. Yeah. It might be a perfect keeper. I just gotta see how he's hooked. Oh, hold him here for a second. Stay on the rail with me yeah. in case he wants to go. Let him go. Let him go. That's right there, guys. Yeah. That was a, that was a good old-fashioned fight right uh -huh. there. Perfect keeper. Right on the button. 45? Yep. That's all right. We're sky fishing. He's Sweet. perfect 45 on the button. Sweet. Yes, I you were right there, Close. dude, looking on. You got scared, dude. I'll tell you, I don't think I want him any bigger. Crazy <laughs> <laughs> and as long as it's fast. As long as it's a cooking baby, it's gonna last. Hit us up at recante.com and use the discount code STOKED at checkout 
to receive your well-deserved discount. What's your Pura Vida? All right, well, that current is starting to slow down just a bit, which is allowing the guys to get the jigs down. And uh, Greg's already gotten two fish on the jig. Fishing the jig for halibut is a first for us, and it is fun. That's a 16 ounce. And it's just bottom, 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 and then boom, they're hitting it. There you go. It's a piece of salmon. Ugh. Oh, you Ryan. You can tighten that drag a little bit. If, if that just pulled drag on the hit, yeah. Sometimes they get loose. In here. You guys are gonna have to cross. Yep, under and over. Craig, you wanna take over on this? I got the rod up. Right wow. There. Wow, Ryan. He came back for it. Mm -hmm. Dude, that was peeling some drag. Still slack line, great reel. But don't reel so much that you pull on him. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Big fish. Oh, That's a 50 pounder, yeah. right? But you know, they try to get it and they just miss it and they get side hooked and it's on. Yeah. I mean, look at this. Uh, dude, a 50 pounder on a jig. Incredible, man. <laughs> crazy. Awesome. He got bit. He came off, right? He dropped it back down. Yeah. Yep. Uh, and he was freaking attacked. Just, ah. They want that Sam. Oh, look at the sea otter. Hey, buddy. Been there, Ryan. Not, not in your pants, but close. I think I saw a weed or not, but I wasn't sure. Yep, there's the double weed or not. Here we right go. There. Here we go. Oh, it's a moose. It's another moose, dude. Dude, that's that's that 60, thing. 70, right? Oh my yeah, God. he's probably going to be about 70 pounds. Yeah. We're going to let him go. Here Come again. This is about an average size fish for us here. Okay. We get tons of these fish. They're Try just in between our swat limits, but great fighters here. <laughs> Dude, that was awesome. <laughs> nice talk. Nice job, Captain. Yep. All right, time to go salmon fishing. We wrapped up our four nice, nice halibut. We're gonna take a photo and then out we go. One, two, three, here we go. Alright guys. Go sideways too. Yeah, I'm getting a bunch here, so I'm trying to keep all the blood on the floor out too. <laughs> okay, Alright guys. Yep. Yeah. Stoked On Fishing is brought to you by Integrative Marine Systems, Southern California's premier boat and yacht upgrade provider, and by Akuma Fishing Tackle, a global leader in the design and manufacturing of high-quality fishing tackle, and by El Dorado Sport Fishing, 85 feet of deck space for fishermen who want to have some fun in the sun, and by Fishing Osara, Costa Rica's best-kept fishing secret, and by Fish Lab Lures, meticulously crafted and designed for one purpose, to catch fish, and by Ricante Hot Sauce, radical blends of fruits and vegetables from the lands of Costa Rica since 2011. What's your Pura Vida?